the Nikon SB910. A brilliant flash unit, but is very complicated and is festooned with features. So how do we use them? So here's a problem for you. You got your film camera and you got your flash unit, but you've left your light meter at home. Okay? Your speed isn't your ISO film speed isn't fast enough to capture indoor light uh, effectively. You're gonna get blurred images. Okay? You know the flash is gonna work, but how much flash do you use? That's the issue that many people face. A lot of the time people are guessing. Today I'm going to look at how you don't even need to guess, right? Uh, my video is biased towards the Nikon SB910. Um, obviously different flashes, you're going to have uh, slightly different settings. But they should all work in, in pretty much a, the similar kind of feature. Alright, so let's throw some numbers out there. Let's just say your ISO film, or, or the ISO on your film was ISO 100, okay? Uh, you've got a 50mm lens here, and it can go to f2.8. Uh, In fact, this one goes to f2, okay? f2, and, you know, your sync speed is at 1 60th of a second, okay? Um, so what that, that's what you want to do first. You want to put your sync speed on 1 60th. You can even have it slower if you want, okay? And I'll explain why that doesn't actually make too much of a difference. You turn on your flash, okay, and the first thing you do is you make sure your ISO, let me make sure that you can see that nice and clearly, make sure that's in focus right there, there we are. Okay, now, what you want to make sure is that your ISO, so you go to menu, you go down, Dum, 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 dum. Let's just have a look. Where is ISO? Here we are. You want to make sure your ISO is on the appropriate level. Um, so if you had 200, you'd go down here. But I'm at 100, so I'd press OK, press Menu again, and it'll take me back to the screen. Okay, and that's just up here. ISO 100. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that this is directly facing forward, okay? I don't want the flash head to be facing up. It needs to be facing forward. If I tilt it by any amount, the bit in the middle disappears. You don't want that. You want it like this, okay? And can you see it says 2.7 meters, okay? That doesn't mean too much right now. What I've got to do is I've got to change um, some of these settings, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this one. I don't want that one. I want that one there. I've got a 50 millimeter lens, so I put that to 50 millimeters like so, okay? And then I press OK, and I press this one, and let's just say I wanted to shoot at f2, okay? What I would do is I would put it at f2, like that, okay? And at this power, I need to be 12 meters away from my, uh, from my subject if this is at, you know, fully open at f2, okay? But let's just say I'm not 12 meters away. Let's just say I'm two meters away because this is roughly the distance that you're going to be from your subject. What you do is you go to the, um, you press this button here to get that highlighted. And what you do is you dial it down until you get to the point where you get to two meters or however many meters that you are from your subject. So now it's at 164th power, 50 mil for the lens, F2 on the lens. The shutter speed doesn't matter because at this kind of shutter speed, if you press the button, press the shutter without the flash, you're going to get a black image. All of your exposure is done 100% with the flash, okay? This is to do with the guide number. I could do a, a, a separate video on the guide number in a bit, okay? So that's what you do, okay? Now let's just say, all right, okay, that's great. You have more people come in. You no longer need F2 in your group shot, you need, say, F8. So you press this button, you take it up to F8, 
Dum -dum -dum. There we are, F8. And, you know, you're not 0 0.6 meters, you're 2 meters. So you just, um, not this button. You want to press this one. And you want to just dial it so it's down to 2 meters. There we are. And now it's, you're at 1 quarter power. And you're going to get perfect exposure at F8 using a 50 millimeter lens. Okay, it's a very, very useful tool. Uh, not many people know what these buttons do. They usually just um, go straight to to this one to to do the power. Because obviously, with digital cameras, you can just play around with the the flash until you get a right exposure. With film, you can't really afford to waste film. This is why we do this. Okay. Um, what else? Okay, now if you're going to be tilting your head up or to the side or whatever obviously the distance between your flash and your subject is going to change okay and when it changes um you know your you know it's you you're going to affect you know the power of the flash isn't isn't going to be enough you need more power so as a rule of thumb just look at your surroundings uh it could be two stops extra light maybe even four stops extra light okay depending on how far it is you're bouncing the thing off okay this is designed for the the head to be directly on and trust me when you when you're doing it like that something like black and white photography it doesn't make a difference um, it will make a difference a little bit for color photography so uh, if you're doing color I'd still recommend that you uh, use a, a light meter of some description okay thank you for watching and goodbye